Thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting our channel. But if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so and we shall continue to bring you the latest news as they come. And together we shall walk with our great leader, Mazin Namde Kano, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality. He say, a group of diplomats at the United Nations have laughed at the Southeast governors and leaders. They said that the Southeast governors and leaders are a disgrace not only to the Igbo race but to Africa in general for allowing the Fulani Janjaweed to control them like babies for allowing the Fulani Janjaweed Nigerian government to use them as slaves. And this came up when the Fulani APC party through their national chairman, Governor Boni of Yobe State, a semi-illiterate, warned that Southern politicians should forget about 2023 presidency. Imagine that. They were laughing at the Southeast governors and leaders for being so stupid and so low to allow semi illiterates to be directing them and leading them. Anyhow, even to the point that they are afraid of speaking up or supporting their own because of the Fulani Janjaweed. And that thing the Fulani Janjaweed have promised the Southeast governors and leaders will not be given to them. And that is the 2023 presidency. You see, they are fooling themselves. They are just fooling themselves. Two former governors of Abia State, Oji Zokalo and Theodore Oji, who are currently members of the Nigerian Senate, have been confronted by their constituents for working against IPOB and against Biafra. You know, they are working for the Fulanis against their own. You know, the Fulani Nigerian government are working so hard in order to discredit IPOB. They are working so hard. And they are using the Serikin Fulani of Imo State to do that. Now it has been uncovered that the Nigerian security agencies in connivance with the Supreme Court Administrator of Imo State, Hope Uzodema, used the criminal DSS to kill four oil workers in Imo State. They are trying to use it to dent the image of IPOB, an Eastern Security Network, so that the Fulani Janjaweed can bring back all their killer headsmen and Fulani terrorist bandits back to Biafran forest and bushes, but that will never work. You know, the oil workers who are Biafrans were going to their oil plants in Asa community in Ohaji stroke Bema local government area of Imo State when the criminal DSS disguised as unknown gunmen shot them. They shot them and killed all of them. And they now use the Nigerian compromised news media to twist the story in order to, you know, dance the image of IPOB, claiming that those unknown gunmen were IPOB members. My brothers and my sisters, 
you see why the foreign diplomats at the United Nations are laughing at Biafran governors and leaders. They are a disgrace, not only to the Igbo race, but they are also a disgrace to Africa. Allowing the semi-illiterate Fulani Janjaweed to deceive them, to direct them, to tell them what to do. Whereas the Fulani Janjaweed ask their security agencies to take selfies with terrorist Fulani bandits in Zamfara Forest. Whereas the Supreme Court Administrator of Imo State is using the criminal DSS to kill Biafrans. Just because they want to implicate or dent the image of IPOB. They have gone too far. They have gone too far. And that is why an end has to come. And that is why our leader, Mazin Amdekanu, must be set free unconditionally and be Afra referendum date given to him immediately. Because Biafrans can no longer allow the Fulani Janjawi and their cronies in Biafra land to be killing Biafrans. No, it can never happen again. It has to stop. That has to stop. The Nigerian security agencies were taking selfies with terrorist Fulani bandits, whereas the same security agencies are the ones coming to Biafra land to kill Biafrans. That has to stop. That has to stop. You know, it has to stop. Southeast governors have lost credibility and legitimacy as the people of Southeast continue to obey the sit-at-home order given by IPOB. You know, and that is what the human rights activists and the diplomats at the United Nations are saying that the Southeast leaders and governors can no longer be respected. They have lost their credibility because of the Fulani Janjaweed. They are following about like a, a fly following a cow about. Now the Southeast leaders and governors are now Janjaweed. They are behaving like Janjaweed. Despite being learned, they are behaving like Janjaweed. You know, the Southeast leaders and governors have lost credibility and legitimacy because Biafrans were obeying the orders of IPOB and not the orders of the governors in the region. They have lost credibility. They have lost legitimacy. They have lost it. You know, Biafrans disobey the counter order given by the Southeast governors where they said that Biafrans should not obey the order. But Biafrans told them no. Biafrans told them no. Because the Southeast governors and leaders have not done anything worthwhile for them. Rather, they are the ones bringing the Fulani Janjaweed Nigerian military to cause genocide in Biafra land. They are the one. They are not speaking up for their own. They are not supporting Biafrans. Biafrans were not getting the benefit of democracy despite enormous revenues that accrue to the states in the area. They are not. So that is why we want Biafra to be free. 
because enough of these Fulani slave governors and leaders. Enough of them. And you know, Biafrans do not trust the Southeast governors and the leaders. They don't trust them. They don't trust them because they are not governing Biafrans in the interest of the people. And that is why Biafrans are listening to IPOB and not the leaders or the governors. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.